Um, next up, from the YA Fiction Cohort, we have Matt Ford! So I made it to Lambda. Um, so I am, um, first of all, hi. Um, I use any pronouns used respectfully. They also work. Um, I am a caramel black caramel cutie with long luscious locks adorned in gold, some gold and bread earrings, a floral shirt, some blue jeans, and some sandals. Um, and would you like to introduce yourself? This is the fabulous V. Hi, y'all. Um, I'm V. I'm, my mask is off. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> um, I'm helping Matt read today. Um, I'm dark skinned, beautiful with braids, cornrowed. I'm wearing a yellow um, kind of uh, cropish top with flowers on it um, and a cute light blue skirt and I'm in screenwriting. And an amazing poet. Um, yeah, let's, let's sit and make this a formal conversation. So this is um, a brand new piece that I just finished today. Uh, <laughs> she's fresh, fresh, fresh. Um, so this is um, a chapter um, called The Holy Body coming from my um, upcoming novel. This is a conversation between, oh, thank you, yes. This is a conversation between my protagonist, Miles Crescendo, and Jesus Christ. So. All right, so we're gonna start on verse 16, page two. Sorry, I should have told you that. All right, verse 16. Tell the Lord what's on your mind. <sighs> Miles takes a deep breath. I have to preface this by saying, I'm not sharing this because I'm confused about it. I'm confident in this. I just want to say it out loud to you, to us. They glance up at Jesus, whose gentle, smiling expression doesn't change. Since I was a kid, I've never felt like anybody else. Not that everyone is the same, but I just can't fit in, and I don't think I want to. Miles has been looking at the floor, but now looks Jesus in the face, eye to eye. I've never really understood what gender is. I don't know what masculine or feminine mean. Like, I know what they've come to mean, but I don't know how we got there. I don't know who assigned these meanings to my body. White Jesus. <laughs> True, well, I realize I'm not a man or a woman, I'm just me. Miles looks away for a moment, scratches their head. And I like bodies like mine. Jesus smirks. So, you like dick and ass. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's the easiest way to put it. Miles cracks a smile and relaxes their stance. Me too. Miles turns their head and looks at Jesus from the corner of their eye, placing their hands on the, upon their hips. What you talking about, Willis? I said what I said. Well, you, like me, well, well you like, you love everyone. You're Jesus, you're supposed to. Yes and no. I love everyone, but it's really hard to care for evil motherfuckers who have truly convinced themselves that it was my commandment to love themselves more than, not as, their neighbors. That I would co-sign their bullshit. I don't like what this world has done to the body, what whiteness has done to the body, to my body. We weren't about that life up in heaven, and definitely not in Africa either. Jesus wept. I love bodies like mine too. Miles hands Jesus a tissue and sits next to him. What do you mean? I mean exactly what you mean. I love bodies like mine too. In fact, I love all bodies. 
Miles sits in silence, waiting for Jesus to say more. I mean, I ran around with a room of 12 younger men. Fuck you thought we was doing in the gardens for all them years. <laughs> Miles' jaw drops. Yes, my child, I was digging the niggas down. And they was busting my pussy open too. Wow. One of them cheated. One of them cheated and sold me out, that little bitch. But, you know, you can't win them all. And that snitch got his stitches. Wait, did you just say pussy though? <laughs> Jesus throws his head back in laughter, then turns to Miles, suddenly serious. Can I show you something? Oh. Only if you're comfortable. Of course. <clears throat> Jesus arises from the futon and stands before Miles. God made us in their image. But contrary to popular belief, God doesn't have a physical body. But I want to show you how God would look if they did. Jesus opens the long, white, crisp linen robe to reveal a body made of light. Tiny rays glisten all over their body like diamonds reflecting like the night sky. What rests between their legs is neither a penis nor a vagina or both. There is only a star. Miles' face is aglow. Jesus' light reflecting all over the room. I am a reflection of you, Miles, no matter what kind of body you have. I am whatever, whomever you are. I am every woman, every man, every person. Jesus closes the robe, winks at Miles, and disappears. The room is left in glittering light, dazzling like the sun. Thank you. Yeah! Thank you, Matt.